What's going on, you guys? Kippy on the camera here. Pritchard was here. And it is time for a little bit of Twitter Q&A. The other day, I asked you guys to use the hashtag AskKBAC, and I was going to answer all of your questions. Well, okay, not all of them. <laughs> there was there's, so many. There's hundreds of questions. I can't <laughs> answer all of them, but we're going to do it. But we read all of them. That's not true either. I read all of them. Did you really? <laughs> yes. There's so many of them. There's a lot. Guys, it's time for some Twitter Q&A. Before we get into that, if you did not see the video we uploaded the other day, our dogs ran away. The good news is our dogs are back. Our dogs went missing the day before we uploaded the video. And the next day, somebody found them. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome, yeah. Good Samaritan uh, found them. I don't know where they found them, but they called us and... Oh, my God. That is crazy. So does she want these leashes back? No. She doesn't? No. Okay. No, just leave them on. Buddy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get in here. That's right. It's blue, blue. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This oh. is wild. This, this like, is wild. never happened. I know. This is absolutely insane. Go, Blue. Whoa. There you go. That's the update on the dogs, you guys. They are home, they are happy, and they're safe. And the gate is locked. Is it? The lawn was like cut today, was it? No? No, he no. didn't come today. I think he watches our video. <laughs> oh my God. Did, what did he, oh no. Sir, you're not fired. I was just angry. <laughs> 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 guys, it is time for some Twitter q and <laughs> Please, I don't, we can't find another one. It is time for some Twitter Q&A, you guys. Let's get to the very first question. Jackie wants to know, do you have any future plans with the Overreaction Show channel? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. For those of you that don't know, a couple of years ago, we made a brand new channel called the Overreaction Show. And then we never did anything with it. It just kind of died. Every time I do one of these Q&A videos, I always get asked what happened to the Overreaction Show channel, and I never have an answer. Smack the like button if you want me to do something with the Overreaction Show channel, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna get into it today, but I can assure you the answer to your question is yes. Damien wants to know, are you getting the gastric bypass surgery so you could see your yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's exactly why. I don't know what my looks like anymore. <laughs> like, you could show me a photo of my own. <laughs> I'd be like, I guess a nice. <laughs> whose is that? I wouldn't know. <laughs> or maybe I'll go, oh my. Oh, whose is that? I don't know. Because I don't know what my own <laughs> looks like. Okay. Okay, there's your answer. Yes. Margo wants to know. If it's another insult, don't even read it. Seriously. <laughs> When will you open my package I sent last year? It was a big white tube. It has a picture of AGP that I did for y'all. Really? Yeah. A lot of people send packages to our house and one of the things is we just, we stopped opening them because of COVID. Like when packages come directly to our house, we appreciate it, but we kind of put them in an area and one day we're gonna open them. Well, guess what? One day is now. Yeah, one day is right now. Let's go open that package. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <gasps> oh my God. Just kidding. That's a, a wrapping paper too. <laughs> Let's get the real one. Okay. So this is from Margo. Let's see what she sent us. Holy oh, crap. God. What did she make this out of? I don't know, that was so cool. Oh, look at that. Jesus. It's made out of like beads or something. That is really awesome. Yeah, what the hell? Wow, I'm gonna have to have that frame, Margo. Seriously, thank you. Wow, we should measure that. Definitely frame it. Yeah, and then we can measure my uh... This, this little... What? <laughs> oh. I wouldn't know how to argue it. I don't know. <laughs> thank you, mate. <laughs> That's me if you say in that picture. <laughs> you, mate. <laughs> you know what, that was really nice. So Kevin wants to know, I think Michael in his pants is making him lose weight. <laughs> These questions get worse and worse. <laughs> oh my God, how much 
what I have to do to lose weight. I don't know, dude. Okay, no, that... Oh my God. I'm losing weight because I am on a diet so I can get weight loss surgery. It has nothing to do... Okay. <laughs> Next question. I don't even care. All right. It just it is what it is, bro. Okay. Just, this better not be me. Seriously. Okay. Bradley wants to know, Michael, why do you wear diapers? I don't. I don't. <laughs> Every time we do a QA, and a somebody asks me why I wear diapers. I don't. I'm gonna cry, dude. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Is this like Q and A or hate comment? <laughs> I only gotta do a hate comment no, one. No, it's back to like button. Ryan ain't doing it. Oh my god, yes, I love hate comments. I will only do it if it gets like fifteen thousand likes. Otherwise, my confidence can't take it. Oh god, please. I can't like. handle <gasps> the hate comments, dude. I'm fragile. I know you're like a sensitive little flower. Next question, please. <laughs> So, I am the walrus wants to know, why did AGP praise Paul Heyman? Paul Heyman? Yeah. Angry Grandpa praised Paul Heyman because he has been one of the greatest friends that we have ever had. I don't know how many people know this, but from around 2004 to about 2014, I worked for Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is the advocate for the beast! Sorry, well, actually he was. He's, <laughs> now, he's for the raising, defending. Paul Heyman has been one of my best friends in the entire world for going on 20 years. Oh my God. 20 years! Holy shit. Was there any reason to cuss? You're so filthy. That's a long time. I started out doing graphic design for Paul Heyman in 2004, and then in 2014, I actually quit so I could focus on YouTube but he remained to be one of my best friends to this day. One of the first people I called when Grandpa passed away was Paul Heyman. The reason Angry Grandpa praised Paul Heyman as much as he did is because Paul Heyman was there when a lot of people weren't. One of those times I've actually kind of talked about on video before, and I'm gonna mention it again. Around 2008 or 2009, Angry Grandpa needed $2,000 like that. I'm not getting into why or what was going on, but dad needed the money in a serious, serious way. So I called up Paul. Now back then I couldn't even afford a cell phone, so I had to use my house phone to call Paul Heyman. And I told him, Paul, I need $2,000 and I need you to tell me, and I was gonna say how I can make it. Before I could finish, he told me, go to Western Union and it's gonna be waiting for me. We drove to Western Union and that money was there. Just like that. I needed the money and Paul Heyman was there for me when I needed him most. So anything Paul Heyman needs for the rest of my life, I'm gonna make sure that he gets it. At least if I'm able to give it to him. Why did angry grandpa praise Paul Heyman? Cause he was the man. We had dinner with Paul Heyman at Hall's Chop House and dad was just enamored by him. Dad was just watching him and I think he would have sucked his dick, gotta be honest. I know, I feel like I would too. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was too far. Paul may be your hall pass. <laughs> that's up to him. Paul, if you want to f my girlfriend. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I can't even use that. Cut it. Why did Angry Grandpa love Paul Heyman? Because he's like family and he still is. Hmm. Okay. So, George wants to know, if he had to go live with Charlie, Dung, or Tina, who would it be? Oh, God. At what point in my life have I sunk so low that this is even a possibility? <laughs> yeah, like, you would have to lose everything. I have to have no friends, <laughs> no like eyesight. You know what I mean? like, I've had to literally lost everything that my like life has to offer. Yeah, you would have to be so bored. I have to literally be sleeping under a bridge <laughs> with like no clothes or vision or friends to help me for this to even be a possibility. Yeah, and connecting to like Burger King Wi-Fi. <laughs> Tina. It's Tina. Oh, okay. It's obviously Tina. Okay. okay. If I had to choose between the three, Tina's the only one that doesn't need help to be entertaining. That right? is true. Like, Tina's actually entertaining on her own, and the other two, you have to feed them lines. I never had to give Tina words to say. I never had to say, here's how we're pranking angry grandpa. Nothing. And that Tina <laughs> is Tina. Yeah, it was okay. like, she was like a pro. It was I don't weird. even dislike the woman. I like Tina still. Uh, she's just so crazy. She's crazy, which is why I can't do videos with her anymore. But do you realize how much I want to? I know, right? <laughs> Dude, I would love to have Tina in another video, but you just can't trust the woman. I know. You can't trust somebody who 
tells you to your face, oh, I love you, thank you for everything you've done to me, and then two weeks later, no, no, nah, nah, 10 and minutes later, 15 seconds later, <laughs> is on her phone on the ride home, <laughs> live streaming how big of a piece of <laughs> the thing is, I have never had a problem with Tina. When she was in the hospital last year, or was it the year before, I sent her chocolate, and I wished her the best. And flowers. And flowers, and she threw them in the trash. That's definitely a Tina <laughs> thing to do. Yeah, she was like, bro, and she threw the tr <laughs> flowers in the trash and told me to <laughs> myself. And I still cared about her. I still, to this day, care about her. Tina, I genuinely <laughs> with you. I genuinely care about you, but... Goodness gracious, you do not know how to treat your friends. No trust. There is no trust, but if I had to choose one of the three to go live with, it's obviously Tina, without question. She's the only one that I won't even call by their nickname. <laughs> Dung and Jack Daniels, <laughs> they don't make the cut. <laughs> Sorry, Tina's the only one. Okay, Sam wants to know, Michael, Bridget, deepest question ever. Okay. What are your favorite numbers? Our favorite numbers? Yeah. Okay, my favorite wait, number wait. is probably... What? This sounds sus. What do you mean? This is sus. How? Okay, I think he's trying to get, like, security answers. Oh my god, he's trying to... <laughs> Dude! What's next? What street I grew up on? Oh, nice try, Sam. Three Street, by the way. My, yay! Yeah. What? No. Uh-uh. <laughs> Cut it! Okay, you look exhausted. I am so tired. Because we were doing this video at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I don't I know what. I woke up so early. Like, I almost been up for like... Come on. Math is not your strong suit, but you can do it, baby. 24 hours? And did you wake up at 2 in the morning last night? No, like 5. Well, then it's almost 24 hours. Jesus. Oh, Since I wants to know, is there a chance for there to be... A Bridget West only fans. Let me answer this one, guys. I'm sorry, well, but the answer yes. is no. What'd you say? Yeah. What? Yeah, there's possibility. No, there's no possibility. <laughs> my God, if my Reddit fans want to see something, see what? Well, see what? See, it. see what is it? All right. This guy wants to know if you vividly remember shoving a thermometer up my ass in Trailwood. Yes. No, you do not. I so. That never happened in Trailwood, okay? It was like two houses later. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Wait a minute. We talk, Did we talk about that? I feel like you're having like PTSD right now. Are you okay? I remember, Mike. I walk in the room. You're on all fours. What are you saying right now? <laughs> trying to stick a thermometer up your ass and... I don't remember this, dude. Wow, he has brought back a memory I completely blocked out. Oh my god, do you need therapy? I do. Queen Tinkerbell wants to know, what is your bra size? Uh, I think they're asking you. What? Yeah, they're not asking me. That's for you! No, man, that's for you! Uh, okay, I'm done with this. We're not doing this anymore. I don't wear a bra, Bridget. That, I don't, okay, the answer to the question is nothing. <laughs> Alright, this person wants to know, when are we gonna have baby number three? I already have baby number three. What? It's you. What? You're baby number three. Okay, stop doing that. Don't even make a joke like that. No, I am not baby number three. <laughs> You're baby number three. Why do you say that? Uh, I don't know. The thermometer. Oh, uh, that was years ago. Okay. Don't say I wear diapers, dude. Don't <laughs> do it. I don't wear a diaper. I don't drink out of a bottle. None of that stuff applies to me. I'm not a baby. Why do I feel like you're saying I got a baby? What are you? What is that face about? <laughs> Tell everybody it's huge right now. It's so big. There we go. That's what I'm talking. It, she's right. Uh huh. Last question for Bridget. Barney wants to know how do we arrange you to use your hall pass with me? Wait, what? Okay, why did you screenshot this question? Oh, that's so flattering. Um, no, hold up. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. We're. No, I'm sorry. This is not happening. I'm about to block the guy. Oh my god, that's really flattering. Sorry about that, Barney. Unfortunately, she's just not interested. Um, that's not happening, Bridget. You want to break up here on the vlog? Michael, it's flattering. What are you doing, dude? Okay, we can start off with him following me. Huh? He doesn't even follow me. Okay, yeah, that's step number one, Barney. Yeah, Barney? What the hell? I could never let her hall pass be with somebody that don't even follow her on Twitter. Like, I know, what? This thing is ended, okay? Yeah, it's 
Sorry, Barney. Unfortunately, that's like the end of the hall pass. Like, if he followed me, though, maybe, but... No, but he's going to follow you now. <laughs> if I see you following Barney in a couple of days, I'm leaving the house. Hey, no, no look at me. Don't do that. Okay, Rage Turtle wants to know, can you share your Raymond noodle recipe? Would love to properly cook my noodles for the best possible 99 cent taste I can get. Okay, first of all, Raymond noodles are three cents. Okay, <laughs> which I don't know what the hell they're made out of to cost three cents. <laughs> right. But like, it can't be good. I gotta be eating like fiberglass or something. Like, for real. I don't know what's in them. But number two, it's on the back of the the plastic, <laughs> it just tells you what to do. That's all I do. That's my big secret. Yeah, you microwave for like three minutes. <laughs> you That's put it in a bowl, you microwave <laughs> for like three minutes, just throw it, bada bing, bada boom, you eat. Now, <laughs> if you want an actual ramen noodle recipe, we turn no further than to Auntie Fee. We are about to make Auntie Fee's ramen noodles. Tacos. No, we're not having tacos. We're having ramen noodle. Now we're gonna pour the ramen noodles right in and don't put that in there. And you're just gonna stir this up and you wanna brown it, kind of like you do rice aroni. Where you going, Mia? You leaving? Oh, it's starting to burn. Oh, God! Water. Okay, dude, grow up. Now you're gonna add some seasoning packets. I'm gonna put my ground beef right back in it. Now we're gonna add cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese. Mmm. Cheese throughout. How's this for Mia? Perfect. Is that enough? Mia needs to cool off, but I'm gonna try this right now. So, this is the best 99 cent you can do with your ramen noodles, in my opinion. Oh my god, yes. We need hot sauce. <laughs> can you do it to your bite? That's real hot. <laughs> it's so good that my throat is like. Oh my God, Michael. Michael! Last question. Okay, here we go. Make it a good one. Uh, Gaming Levi's, Levis, whatever, wants to know. Can you even read? Yes. What's, what's happening here? Uh, what is the drama between you and McJuggernuggets? No, come on, don't even. No, I think we should dig into I told you it. not to screenshot that question, seriously. Uh, well, Michael, I did. I don't want to answer that question. I think I don't should. want any more... Wait, let's talk I'm not about using it. it. I'm not, I swear, we're not using the question. Everyone wants to know. I swear to God, I'm not using the question. Michael? I, why are you, like, trying to, like... Let's go, let's do this. Okay. All right, let's Ask get it into it. Ask it again, okay, because I can't... Okay, Levi PK, what is the drama between you and Nick Juggernaut? Okay. The beef with McJuggernuggets. Okay, so for those of you that aren't aware, McJuggernuggets and I are no longer friends. Yeah, surprise, I lost another friend. <laughs> I don't have any more friends. <laughs> you, you got me. Yeah, usually I just don't like to talk about this stuff at all. Oh, I get right? it. Right, like when people are talking about us or like I lose friendships or like there's fractured relationships in my life. I don't talk about it because I don't feel like I have to, number one. And number two, I don't wanna shed any light on it because that's not what I wanna talk about. Yeah. Right, like I wanna try to stay as optimistic as I can. I don't wanna talk about friendships that I used to have. On the other hand, I have had so many people asking me about this that I kinda don't have a choice. So many people are asking me, why aren't you and McJuggernuggets friends anymore? And I'm like, how the f you know about that? <laughs> right? How did you find out? Because I haven't told anybody and neither is he. The reason that I am no longer friends with McJuggernuggets is because of this. How did it come to this, though? <laughs> Dude, I'm not proud of it either. <laughs> okay? I'm not. Honestly. Why are you bracing me? I got this how I sleep! Guys, look, I'm kidding. <laughs> right? Like, there's no simple answer to why I'm not friends with Jesse anymore, right? Like, there's no one thing that happened. We just kind of drifted apart, right? Like, sometimes that's what happens in a friendship. We kind of stopped talking, we drifted apart, and then we unfollowed each other on Twitter, which, <laughs> honestly, I had no clue people could see. <laughs> I know, right? right? Like, had I know you were able to see that I no longer follow Jesse on Twitter, I'd have never done it. In the first place, <laughs> right? Like, once that happened, people started posting on Reddit and they're like, hey, 
something's going on because they no longer <laughs> follow each other on Twitter. And I had no clue that that kind of was public information. Right? It's, yeah. But in terms of like beef, guys, there's no beef with McJuggernuggets. I thought we loved each other, dude. You said that we were bros. I let you in my home. You even held my daughter. Whoa. Well, I guess we're f***ing throats over. So I hope you know I'm sorry for the sh Inside your head, you think I put you through. Okay, guys, I'm kidding. That's not a real song. Right? That is not a real song. I think I might go get a knife. Oh, hi, I'm psycho kid. I'm mindless when I'm angry and get lifeless when I try to scan. Listen, guys, the truth is we had some business disagreements, and that's like as honestly as I can put it. If Jesse wants to talk about it, I'll respond, but there is no like big dramatic thing that happened, right? Like, I still like Jesse a lot. I still think that he's like a really good person and I'm never gonna have a bad word to say about Jesse because we still had a real friendship, right? Like, despite how things may have ended between us, he was still somebody that I considered like family, right? Like, he's somebody that when my father died, showed up to the funeral and didn't even tell me he was coming because he knew that I needed somebody to lean on. And that's the kind of stuff that you don't forget. That's the kind of thing that's gonna sit with me forever. Even if we're not friends, if there's ever a problem with Jesse, I'm gonna be on the first flight to New Jersey, right? Like, I genuinely do care about the kid. I mean, I do think he kind of owes me an apology, right? Or like three. <laughs> or four. Or seven. Or maybe a baker's dozen, right? Like, yeah. he owes me an apology and hey, maybe he thinks I owe him one too. But you don't. Well, listen, we don't know what he feels. Like, I don't know what I may have done to offend him as badly as I did. That's true. I'm curious about that, actually. I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. I genuinely, I don't. At the end of the day, Jesse doesn't need me. He doesn't need my friendship. He doesn't need my text messages. He doesn't need me in his life to succeed because the kid's going to succeed anyway. I have always said and I always will say that Jesse Ridgway is a creative genius. The guy is a mastermind okay he brings out the best in me and I'd like to think that maybe in some way I bring out the best in him right like there's always going to be some kind of mutual respect at least on my end right like <laughs> as far as I know the dude's got my face on a dartboard and he uses it for like target <laughs> practice you know oh what I mean God. what the do I know <laughs> the dude might hate me oh right God. like he may be planning to kill me I don't okay I don't I don't know what goes through this dude's mind anymore. I don't know. Oh Guys, the truth is there's no like real beef with McJuggernuggets. I don't have a problem with them. There's no like one thing that happened. We just kind of grew apart, right? And that's where I'll leave it. Jesse, I love you. I respect you. Mm, and I wish mm, you the best. There's, there's something there. What? Okay, so after I gave birth to Mikey, he tweeted me, congratulations. That bastard. But he deleted it. What? He deleted it like two minutes later. He said congratulations and deleted it? Yes. I saw it. He thinks I didn't see it, I bet, but I saw okay, it. Okay, so that's another apology, right? <laughs> like, maybe 13 of them. I, I listen, might even have a screenshot of it. He deleted it. Why did he do that? I don't know. Well, that's kind of crappy. <laughs> you know, like... It, <sighs> I don't know. Look, Jesse, I love you, okay? I have nothing but respect for you. So does my son, okay? <laughs> my son will love your videos, okay? Even if you don't get a <laughs> he was born. <laughs> no, but listen, guys, I honest to God, I don't have a problem with each other. <laughs> I'm a psycho. Hi, my name is Michael. Who drifted? I don't think it was you, honey. It was both, Bridget. Like, we both stopped talking to each other. I'm sure there was a period of time where I could have reached out to him and was could have been like, hey, let's squash this thing, right? Let's talk about it. And I did it. And he did it. And that's okay. I got friends. I got other people besides Jesse in my life. But I love him. It is what it is. I wish him nothing but the best. Guys, that's going to be it. That is our Q&A. Wow, this was long. The camera overheated three times. I know, I'm like, it. I need to go to sleep, bro. Okay, well, you can do that because your pain and suffering is over. Guys, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching. Like. Subscribe. Favorite. Follow on everything, but you was. And remember, smack the like button for whatever it is we asked you to do in this video, right? There was like the overreaction <laughs> show. There was some other stuff. I forget what it was. What was it? I've got a terrible memory. Oh my God.
Oh my god. Just roll the end of the log. 